G'day, welcome back. If you found this video, you're probably hoping to find some use out of ChatGPT without getting caught out by your teacher. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use ChatGPT without putting your work at risk of plagiarism. In this video, we'll explore how this advanced language model can assist students in their studies, from helping with research and writing to providing assistance with studying and organization. Whatever grade you're in, you should be thinking about how you can use ChatGPT to enhance your learning experience. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into ChatGPT and how it can help you achieve academic success. The first tool or the first way you might use ChatGPT is to use it as a writing prompt for essays and papers, or in my case, where I do lots of projects, to use these prompts to organize your projects. Now, the first example I'm going to write in is to create a design process for a new kitchen. In my class, we might need to design the interior of a new kitchen and ChatGPT is going to help my students in planning that process. So defining the scope of works, research, and then going through the design process. You can then copy this into a document and that will start your scaffolding. As a teacher, this is really handy for students who don't know where to start. They can then use this template to then uh, expand on and follow that process. Next, we're gonna use ChatGPT to understand your understanding of difficult concepts. Maybe you've been to class, your teachers talked about AI and you didn't really understand how it worked. So you might go to ChatGPT, and this is a bit strange, but you might ask it, explain how ChatGPT works. You can be a bit more explicit and ask for it to explain it in layman's terms, so using simpler terminology, but you can actually ask ChatGPT to explain lots of different concepts and you can keep asking it in different ways and it should hopefully clarify how things works. Next, we're gonna look at how ChatGPT can help you with exam preparation. And you might get it to ask, to create actually a practice test. So use ChatGPT as a tool to assist you in studying for exams by asking it to generate practice tests on a particular subject. For example, I might ask it to write me five multiple choice questions on force and motion. Now it's actually gonna write me five questions with multiple choice answers and give me the answers to those questions as well. If you can imagine studying for a test, or it's taking a bit of time to think, but um, if you can imagine studying for a test and being a bit stuck on what kind of questions a teacher could ask, you can ask ChatGPT to write you a, your very own test. A teacher might use this as well. You might get some carryover there as well. Next, I might use ChatGPT to assist in research by asking it to generate relevant information on a topic you're studying. For example, if I was in my history class, I might ask, can you outline Australia's involvement in the Second World War? Now, it's always important to cross-reference any information you get, uh, but I found that ChatGPT has been pretty good when it comes to information, but I would all, you might get asked by your teacher to reference your information. It's fine to start here and understand, uh, just to understand the concepts, but you might need to then find a reference for this information as well to also prove that you're not just copying and pasting. And as you can see, it would be quite easy to copy and paste this into um, your essay, but I'm sure your teacher is going to be adapting and understanding your writing style. So therefore, they're going to be able to tell if you can write um, so succinctly in class. They might make you handwrite essays from now on, but this is just a good way to actually get some research through ChatGPT. Finally, you can use ChatGPT to help you stay organized by asking it to plan a study schedule. For example, if you had a test coming up on fractions and decimals and you're in year seven, you might say, create a study schedule for an upcoming year seven test on fractions and decimals. Um, you might ask it to do it uh, for 30 minutes a day. You might say it's coming up in two weeks. You can give it a bit more information, but if you write, create a study schedule for me, it's going to create a schedule for you as well. Now, you can see here it's going to break it down by days at this point and it's probably going to start off with the simpler concepts and then get onto the more compl complex uh, concepts in fractions and decimals for year 7 as well. Now it's important to remember that ChatGPT is a tool and should be used to assist you in your work, not to replace it. You should always use your own critical thinking and analysis to interpret the information provided by the output of ChatGPT. Hopefully this little video inspires you to explore with ChatGPT, see if you can get it to help you with your studies. And remember not to just copy the content that comes out of it, but to actually use ChatGPT as a tool. Uh, and I'm sure your teachers will be impressed if you can use it as a tool rather than to use it 
as something you copy and paste from. Anyway, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments below and good luck.